Hey everyone, Tim Layton here. Welcome back to the next edition of the Darkroom Diary. And you're looking at my newly acquired mobile darkroom. And primarily it's a mobile darkroom, but it's also great for sleeping and taking a shower and stuff like that. So uh, I'll just do a quick video right now. I'm getting ready to make a bunch of changes to it. And uh, in fact, I've already made some changes and I'll uh, show you that. So what I got is a Winnebago. It's uh, the Hike 100 series. And uh, specifically, I got the 1316 MB model. And uh, that had a, like a little, I think a little sofa or a day bed or whatever. And then a uh, Murphy bed. I ripped all that out. I'll show you that in a minute. Anyway, this thing's got super high ground clearance. It's got uh, AT tires. It's got independent suspension. It is uh, made for uh, off, just off-grid people like me and hikers and adventurers and stuff like that. It's got a nice little awning here that comes out. It's got all the things that you would expect. Um, it does have some things you wouldn't expect, like it's got integrated solar on the roof, which is great. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, it's got independent uh, stabilization bars. So all four of those can be at different heights and, and so on and so forth. That's real nice for leveling out. Um, it's got an electric jack on it. It's got uh, 20 pounds of propane, which is more than enough for uh, weeks off grid. I, I've learned that from other adventures. It's got a battery uh, with it. I'm gonna probably upgrade that to a lithium battery. Right now it's an AGM battery, but uh, I'm gonna have a welder custom make a protection box that will uh, go over this area here. So I'll show you that in the future. I'll have to get that squared away and going. But then uh, you've got these powder coated uh, boxes. This actually, I think it's locked. Yeah, I got it locked right now. This is actually made for like, if you want to grill outside, this will actually come down. You can put utensils and things and lighter fluid and whatever you want in there. So that's, I'll use that a lot probably. Uh, this is a uh, propane uh, quick connect. If you had something there, I won't. I'll, I have a little butane, uh, butane stove that I use, but uh, I'll show you that in a future episode when we get out. And on the back, uh, you know, you've got windows on all sides. They have screens in them and integrated blinds. I'll show you that on the inside. It's got a hitch. It's not rated for uh, very significant weight, but uh, I may end up putting like a little basket uh, back here, but you can see the bars are integrated uh, all the way around this thing, brush guards or whatever you want to call it. All right, so over here would be your 30 amp service. This is if you were camping somewhere, which I'll never do. Here's your rear uh, extenders right here to control those that come down. Another box uh, right here. This is where I keep like my 30 amp electrical cord that I run to my generators show you that in a future episode, uh, a hose and, uh, you know, hose disconnect and things like that. And then this is the hot water heater uh, area here. And uh, this is uh, the gray water uh, runoff right here. Uh, this is where you would uh, connect. You can see here uh, for your water inlet here, whenever you want to fill. The little showers right here, that's locked. Uh, this is the exhaust for the furnace. And then uh, these are the uh, switches for the extenders there. And then uh, you've got um, a cassette toilet in this. So you don't have like a separate uh, black water system or whatever. Um, so you got that, that's nice. You just pull it out and then you just go dump that. You can actually just dump it even in a toilet if you want. Uh, you don't have to go to like a dump station or whatever. And then there's the ladder up on that. So anyway, uh, let me take you inside. All right, we'll walk in. Real quick, uh, keep in mind, this is only a 13 foot uh, interior space on here. It's, and it's about 16 feet from the rear bumper to the front of the tongue. So this is a small space. It's exactly what I wanted. And it's more than enough, uh, more than I could have even hoped for, for a mobile dark room and then a place to just kind of crash and take a shower and eat and things like that. So anyway, let me take you inside here. As we step in, uh, you've got the fridge right here got a convection microwave. You've got all the uh, control switches here. 
Like for example, I can check the status of my battery. You can see it's completely full. That's your uh, fresh water supply, which it's empty right now, your gray water supply. This is a, uh, for the awning uh, that would extend out there. This is a light that would be on the far side of the camper. And then the um, water heater on this can run off of gas or electric or both, which is pretty cool because um, what you can do with that is uh, primarily run it on gas. But if I had a friend along or something like that, and two people wanted to kind of take showers back to back, if you ran both the gas and electric, it's just a faster recycle time. So that's kind of nice. And then uh, that's your water pump. And then uh, we are heater tank here. Uh, so we've got that. And then of course, entrance lights and awning lights and things like that. So uh, what's really cool here, cause it's a small little kitchen. This is your extended counter space. As you can see here, it's a real simple little sink. It's got this little inlet here, but it's a nice little sink. It's got a real nice uh, wireless charger for the phone. So that's cool. It's got an outlet. You got all these little touch lights, a little bit of storage up here or whatever. You can see there's a fan uh, right there, which is great. So if you're standing here, you can see how you could maybe prep your stuff here uh, that you're making or whatever. And I eat very simple, mostly just fresh fruits and vegetables and salads and, and uh, just real simple stuff like that. So anyway, this is going to be real handy. And then it's got uh, more storage here. It does come with this little um, Bluetooth uh, speaker, which is nice. So if I want to listen to some, some tunes in the evening or whatever, I'll be able to connect that, take it outside if I want. Um, it's got a, it's pre-wired for Wi-Fi, which I don't care about that. I've got a mobile hotspot. And then uh, over here, this is the thermostat for uh, the heater. And it's just a single duct system because it's such a small space. I'll show you here in a minute. And then that is your um, power distribution center where you've got your outlets and things like that. You've got good storage in here as well. Um, they actually do give you an induction cooktop, which I'll take that. Now I've already got a few things in here like bungee cords, a toolbox, and these little um, racks or shelves right here go in the bathroom. I'll show you that next. So uh, the AC unit is right here. And you, you can uh, close or open vents, like you can push it back that way if you want more or whatever. The control is very simple right here. And uh, there's that. And then the bathroom, like I say, it's real small, but it's very simple. Uh, I'm over six feet and I can stand up in there no problem. And um, you can see here. Now, here's the toilet. Um, I've already got the shower curtain installed here. The, the toilet can actually spin to the side, which that's the way I have it now. So it gives a little bit more room in there. So that's nice. I don't ever see myself ever using this. Um, but if I need it for some emergency or whatever, I've got it. It's a simple little cassette system that I showed you out there. So uh, you just kind of just pull the curtain here, keep your door from getting wet and uh, off you go. So it's real simple and it's all I need. And then you can run the, the fan, I guess, while you're in the shower there too. All right, so uh, previously there used to be a uh, like a like a day bed like thing here. I'll put some pictures up on the screen and show you. And then there was this Murphy bed thing, ripped all of that out at the dealership as part of the condition of the sale. And um, so I'm really happy about that. You can see I've got uh, windows on each side. I'm going to make some custom window covers to black it out in here whenever I want to make it a dark room. I've got nice storage cabinets, four of them up here, which is great. And I've got outlets, which is great back here and USB. Uh, so it's, it is modern, which is great. They got USB C and A, which is really nice. Good size window too. And then these are the doors that used to be access to the storage system. I will never use those. Those will stay locked all the time. And then this is what's left of the original build from the factory. Um, this is the hot water heater. And what I'm gonna do, I'll just show you, you can see it's down in here. I'm probably just gonna leave this frame in place. I have to clean it up a little bit, but I'm gonna turn that into an end table. I'll probably frame out the top and then put like a real nice solid hardwood uh, top on it, but one that can lift off. So I'll do like an internal 
uh, framing system so it's a snug fit. And then I'll, of course, uh, redo uh, the exterior here. And then these are the water lines that run from the hot water heater up into the shower system here. And uh, they had this little cover here. You can see I just left that because I'll use it as kind of a, a template. And then I'll just simply cover that. I've got a little uh, two foot by four foot folding table. And uh, I'm going to put that up. That'll go right here. And I visualize myself setting like right here. And I can put a Jobo right here. I've got an outlet right here. I could, uh, I can do wet plate here. I've got, um, you know, enough room to do all that. Uh, the possibilities are really endless. And then what I'm gonna do here is put a high-end Lazy Boy recliner. I've got a real funny back. I have a elevated uh, bed, um, what do you call it? adjustable beds that I use at home. And um, I always have to sleep with an incline because of my back. So uh, recliners work out really well for me for sleeping. So it's, that's all I'm gonna go with in here. It's just a real nice high-end, very comfortable Lazy Boy recliner. The chair is set there. I'll have a real nice, of course, uh, end table where I can put like the laptop and probably just watch movies at night after the day's over on the laptop. I've got the hotspot as well. And then the rest of it's just open. I'm not gonna do much. But what I am gonna do is whenever we took off all this stuff, you know, from the factory. It did, you know, they had like some stuff on the walls here. I don't care about that. I'm gonna take and redo all the wall surface in here. I'm gonna do this in tongue and groove cedar and it's gonna look absolutely fantastic. So make sure you uh, subscribe and, and hang out for that because I'm gonna do that project pretty soon. I'll probably get out and do a couple adventures and then I'll uh, work on the retrofitting of like what I'm doing, but I could actually use this today and um, be totally fine. The one thing I'm waiting on right now, so this would be my view, like if I'm sitting in, in the recliner here, this would be my view uh, right here. It does have a screen door on it too, which is great. So if I just wanna leave the door open and have that screened, you can see I've got all the windows open in here already anyway. Really very, very comfortable. Uh, you could technically probably do a configuration where two people uh, could sleep in here. It'd be tight, but you could make it work. Uh, but that's not my case. I'm just, these are all solo adventures, so this is absolutely perfect. And um, that's where I'm at for now. I just wanted to kind of share where I'm at. Uh, I kind of gave you the plan of where I'm going with it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, sharing this adventure with you and getting out and, and doing stuff. But what I'm really most excited about is being able to develop either my paper negatives or my film or whatever right there on location, on spot, and just guarantee that I know that I've got a good negative before I leave. And, you know, you spend so much time, so much money, so much effort on getting to those locations and I no longer have to wait um, to get back to figure out that I screwed the shot up or something happened or whatever. Uh, I used to have a Sprinter van that was pretty similar in size to this, but um, it didn't, it wasn't this fancy for sure. You know, like I didn't have like a, a microwave and a an overhead air like this and a fancy sink and just all that stuff. It was, it was a, a really cool build, but um, this is just kind of like a little nicer or whatever. But uh, anyway, so I'll end here and I'll see you in the next edition of the Darkroom Diary.